Watch this! Mount Urien versus Anduin. The light shall bring victory. I must protect the one. Okay, so if this is Reno Priest, it's pretty much a free win. If this is Big Priest, we are in trouble. Give me a code for your dead man's hand. Uh, I've had like 16 different iterations of that. I don't know which one is even good. Get him. Just going to hero power him to death. Yeah, we lose. This is almost certainly Big Priest. Poison Seeds probably doesn't matter this early. Oh, okay. No, this is winnable still. I just want to pull that from my deck. Um, we'll ramp next turn. Actually, I should have ramped this turn so that I could um, so that I could play the Aya, but it's fine. I don't really care about a statue in his res pool. I care about two statues in his res pool. I don't think so. All right, Meowth. This is, uh, I think, the optimal version. Actually, sub out the Revenge for Sleep with the Fishes, and this is better. Give me one with flurries if possible. I don't think flurries are good, but you can take out one revenge for a flurry and one for a sleep with the fishes. Hmm. I thought Zach said they weren't playing flurries, that they are playing sleep instead. I'd reread his message. But at one point I was playing one revenge, one flurry, and that was fine. Like those are the cards that swap around a lot. Uh, we set up spooters this coming turn. I think that's better than uh, making big jades right now. Can you queue into a favorable matchup once? Uh, apparently not. No. I cannot do that, unfortunately. I leave this alive because, like, if he just takes the trade, um, I don't want it to guarantee the kill on the second spooter. Just start ramping the jades. Uh, we've got draw. We've got uh, burst. That's fine. I almost queued up Odd Warrior in this game, and that would have been a much better option. I should be able to kill that statue next turn. Fortunately, no Shadow Essence have been played. Servitude is just fine. Like, he's wasting all his res effects on something that I just don't care about. That is a overly aggressive. Yeah, please take that trade. Ow. All the big priests are running. Okay, so what's triggering about um, <laughs> the, the the Blizzard version is that that, that is like this is a showcase, a case study, perhaps. In how you can make shadow visions just needlessly inconsistent. There are so many one ofs of like redundant effects in that deck. You have like one of Light Bomb, one of uh, Dragonfire, you have one of um, Psychic Scream, one of Shadow Word Horror. Like, what are you doing? You're never gonna get what you want off of uh, off of shadow visions that way. Also, there's Galaka Crawlers and Big Game Hunter in Q-Block. Like, why are you teching Q-Block when your goal is to kill people? He says there's an algorithm for matchups to ensure nobody goes too far beyond... No, that's that's just Zeddy being Zeddy and being salty. I'll draw three cards here. Uh, the swipe answers this next turn. There's no way I'm... Um, yeah, we're just trading. Probably gaining some armor. I'm fine with the Ragnaros. 
I don't want to kill it because then he can res it and he's already like expended a lot of uh, resurrect effects on stupid statues, so good for him. Dragon Fire Potion means I take eight and then kill that. I'm going to play this first. Go ahead and throw this here. Do I want to draw? Yeah, let's draw. We'll draw last. I mean, we always played the uh, the Oaken before the draw anyway. It was more about the um, the Spellstone. But I think I was always playing the Spellstone there. Oh, here comes a Ragnaros. Um, probably just going to have to naturalize that. That's way too early. Um, do I need to naturalize this? Do I need any of the other cards in my deck? I need um, I need this second naturalize, and I need... Yeah, some of these cards are good. And before he runs Geist? I mean, if he wants to run Geist, that's, uh, that's fine. I kind of want to hang on to this, right? Because like when I, once I start cycling the the idols, it becomes a lot better. And in fact, the idols aren't really that bad if I just shuffle right now. Death is eternal. My turn it makes six is sixes. Not. I think I'm gonna shuffle. I don't normally like shuffling this early, but I think it makes sense here given how low impact the rest of the cards in my deck are. And I'm gonna hang on to this so that I can, um, so that I can use it more flexibly. I think as soon as we see a spellstone, though, we hit the poison seeds. That's fine. That's super fine. I want to get at least one into his res pool. I don't really think that Spreading Plague is good when he has, um, when he just has Scream as a card. And not really concerned about Burst here. Overcommitting 101? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm happy about it. So we trade. I don't think we naturalized yet. We still have a Lich King. I think we just uh, go ahead and hit this. Probably start tanking up a bit. I'm not winning through pressure anymore. Unless I can set up a, uh, a naturalized fatigue type scenario. So this is probably being used for armor or to uh, to get my big green men going faster. Yikes. Oh, wait. His die too, it's fine. I think I just send a UI at him. Or I just kill it. If I kill it, then it's dead. It also gets rid of cards so that I can more efficiently play the UI. Without, like, there was a low probability that I just, like, burn all the idols, and that would be pretty sad. Okay. So this time we get to play the plague with it. We do take some damage. And actually, I think I want to gain the armor rather than, uh, than plague here. Just because, like, he does seven... Let's actually think about this. He's got eight showing. We can go up to 15. Or rather, we can gain 15 armor. The The concern is that, like, he has a... Um, if I just Plague, he has a second uh, Shadow Word Horror and then gets a Resurrect on the Ragnaros. So I think it's gain armor. The problem is, is that he actually... Um, He actually did visions for a spellstone, so we've got one more spellstone to deal with, and I just 
I don't know how I can do that without uh, starting to make big jade boards. So the, the third spellstone is just where we lose. Unless we can start, uh, like, applying counter pressure. But aside from the Lich King, like, the, the spell... Third spellstone is just the, the end of the game. Or the end of his uh, threats. I could go excavated, naturalize... Armor, make a jade. It's a little bit better considering he might have another Shadow Ward. Next turn we just UI. Problem with UI is that it does like draw us into fatigue. I don't think that's that big of a concern. We only take one fatigue damage. There are no more Resurrect effects, unless he... Yeah, there are no more Resurrect effects, so we just hit there, kill that, and... Um, really happy that it didn't pull the... Silence. Really doesn't want to overdraw. But I think healing the... Wait, did our opponent not heal that? What just happened? So we take one, I shuffle next turn. I think I need to make two jades here. Just because Yashira is the last remaining. There's Yashira and there's a statue left. I think we win from here though. As long as we can deal with the uh, the Yashira. Scream is fine because we just uh, we make some more big men next turn. Idol is a great draw. I don't know if I go in on it, though. Yeah. Because I'm always going to draw the rest of my deck next turn with the Nourish. So I'll be able to make a, an 11-11 if he just, like, clears this. Uh, this one I think I shuffle. I don't want to commit too much more to this. Nah. I want to draw more of these idols. I want to maintain a way to, uh, to pressure out a Yashira, because again, that's the, the last remaining threat. And shuffle both of these next turn if he doesn't clear. I'll just shuffle one if he does. Putting this back into my deck with a Psychic Scream is uh, bad news for him. Ow. Okay. That's not the end of the world. That's kind of a bummer. There's another Psychic Scream. Maybe I should have gained armor there, just because uh, I want to be able to tank a hit from Yashira if it comes out.
This is just UI, and then I just need to pace out the remainder of my resources. A little bit more efficiently than I have been. Probably two minions per turn is ideal. This is the last threat, so I just need to not die here. I'm out of cards. Double death is not possible. If one of these, two of these survives, we should have lethal. Getting 10 to face shouldn't matter. Yeah, light bomb is, uh, light bomb is game. Oof. Oh, that is not a game we should have won.